Hundreds of pro-Palestinian protesters gathered at the building, hosting the annual White House Correspondents Associ Association dinner in Washington, where President Biden was giving a speech. Some wearing vests with the names of Palestinian journalists killed in Gaza lay down on the ground in front of the venue as guests filed in. More than 20 Palestinian journalists this week issued an open letter urging their American colleagues to boycott the dinner. Meanwhile, police moved in on a pro-Palestinian protest at Northeastern, Northeastern University in Boston. Officials said about 100 people were detained as they were taken away from the site. Those with student ident identification will not face any legal action. It is the latest standoff in a wave of pro-Palestinian sit-ins at campuses around the United States, including this demonstration, which has been ongoing at Columbia University in New York for one week now. Our North America correspondent, Will Vernon, is following developments from Washington. There have also been arrests today at Indiana State University. 69 people, we understand, detained there. At Indiana University, too. And negotiations are ongoing at Columbia University in New York over the protest camp there. And that's what really sparked this latest uh, escalation in the protests, really. Uh, Pro-Palestinian demonstrations have been going on for several months now at a number of universities, but the mood's really changed in the last week or so. Uh, and that was because of an incident at Columbia. On the 18th of April, the NYPD were called onto the campus to take down a protest camp there. Dozens of people were arrested, and that really uh, ignited tensions. And a number of other protest camps were then pitched at various universities across the country. Now, the protesters say that they're unhappy with the US government's support for the Israeli military campaign. They want a ceasefire in Gaza, but also they're demanding that their universities divest, so cut ties with companies uh, with links to Israel. Uh, but many Jewish students say that they feel intimidated by these demos. There have been a number of reports of verbal assaults or even physical attacks on Jewish people by the pro-Palestinian demonstrators. Uh, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, as well as many people in Congress here, say that these protests are anti-Semitic. Of course, the demonstrators deny that. Uh, and university administrators say that a lot of this trouble is being caused by radical outside elements that have infiltrated the ranks of the students. And that's certainly what we heard from Northeastern earlier today. They told us that uh, whilst around 100 were detained, only about 12 or maybe a bit more than that uh, of them actually had student IDs. So many of them were, were not from the university at all.